Hey everybody, this is Noah with Learn Meta Analysis, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a forest plot very quickly, and we are going to interpret the results of our forest plot. And we're gonna do all of this in less than five minutes, thanks to the simple meta analysis software. So the first thing we're gonna do within SMA is go to conventional meta analysis and then run the analysis. I've already gotten my data set formatted and all of that, so I'm just gonna click browse and open up my data file. Now I'm gonna click run and we're done <laughs> we already have our result here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to download this forest plot as a full page so that it's larger and easier to show to you guys all right so how do we interpret this now that we have this forest plot well the first column here is labeled authors and year this is each individual study or in our case each individual comparison that was looked at within this particular meta-analysis so you can see the author's names are here exactly as i have typed them into my uh, csv file and so if i want to change how these appear i need to change how they appear in my csv file so you can see for example down here this wasn't quite ready for me to actually throw into this yet because of under, with this one, it says fix labels conventional and modified. So that was a note to myself that I need to fix the labels on that particular study. So that's what our first column is. This is just our authors and year column. And this is typically what we're using to label our individual uh, comparisons so that other people know where this data came from. Next in the middle, we have this dotted line. So this dotted line in this example is corresponding to zero. Next, down, we're actually gonna to go to the bottom real quick. So down here you can see it says RE model. That means I used a random effects model. You can see this, this indicates my overall meta-analytic effect size and the left to right width represents my 95% confidence interval. We know this because over here on the right-hand column, this is our estimate or our effect size and it's 95% confidence interval. So in this case, our overall meta-analytic effect size was 0.61 and our confidence interval for that was 0.39 to 0.84. So if we look here, we can see that this triangle, essentially, I'm sorry, it's a diamond. This diamond's left side is approximately equal to 0.39. The center is aligned with 0.61, and the right-hand side is aligned with 0.84. Now, last but not least, we have these effect sizes here in this center area. We can see the boxes. So the box in this case is the effect size for each one of these studies. And the bars that we can see here correspond to the confidence interval bars, right? So here, if we look on this, actually we'll go to one that's down here at the bottom to make it a little bit easier. But you can see the left-hand side of the confidence interval is negative 0.93. And if we look here at this, this is about negative 0.93. And if we look at the right-hand side of that bar, this is over here at 0.82. And if we look, it goes down to about 0.82 on the observed outcome. Now, you may be wondering why some of the boxes are smaller than others. That has to do with the amount of weight that each individual comparison has within the overall meta-analysis. So, that's really all there is to it. I know there's a lot of different things here that look really complicated, but once you look at a couple of these, it's really not that complicated. I can tell you the first thing that I typically look for in a forest plot is the overall effect size. That's typically down here at the bottom and it's often labeled over here on the right hand side. The next thing that I look for is I'm often curious which studies had the most influence in the analysis. So, and when I say influence, I don't really mean influence as in influence statistics. Instead, what I mean is which ones were more heavily weighted or were they relatively evenly weighted across? So the next thing that I would be looking at is generally like the size of these boxes to see if there was anything that had a particularly heavy weight in the analysis. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. I see that we got in, we got this whole thing done in well less than five minutes, which I am super Super, super thrilled about but i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions please let me know in the comments if this is helpful please like and subscribe to help support the channel thank you everybody have a great afternoon